प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दी वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू दी चैनल चीता लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग चीता टुडे द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज रिसेंटली टोल्ड दैट इट इज गोइंग टू रीइंट्रोड्यूस अफ्रीकन चीताज इन टू इंडिया वील बी डिस्कसिंग फर्दर अबाउट इट बट राइट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड द कंटेक्सट आई हैव गिवन यू द रीजन वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग चीता टुडे एंड बिफोर बिगिनिंग देर इज अ फैक्ट दैट हैज बीन बाय हार्टेड बाय ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ अस दैट इज चीता इज दी फास्टेस्ट लैंड एनिमल इन दी वर्ल्ड नाउ रिएटरेटिंग द सेम लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज टॉपिक नाउ चीता इज दी फास्टेस्ट एनिमल इन दी वर्ल्ड एंड इट कैन रन एट स्पीड्स मोर दैन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर अवर यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर द एग्जैक्ट फिगर यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इट कैन रन एट स्पीड्स हायर दैन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर अवर चीताज टेक केयर ऑफ देर यंग वन्स फॉर अप टू टू इयर्स फाइन वाई हैज दिस डाटा बीन पुट हिअप रिसेंटली इन यू पी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एलिफेंट्स विच यू कैन गो बैक एंड लुक एट एंड सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ डाटा हैज बीन पुट देर इन वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन एंड इफ वी न्यू द डाटा देन वी कूड हैव एलिमिनेटेड दैट ऑप्शन एंड टिक मार्क द राइट ऑप्शन सो दिस डाटा हैज बीन पुट आउट हियर सो दैट इन फ्यूचर देर आर चांसेस दैट यू पी एस सी माइट आस्क इट नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट देर आर सर्टन मार्क्स ओवर दी फेस ऑफ द चीता लेट एस लुक इन टू दैम नाउ दिस इज दी टीयर मार्क ऑफ द चीता इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ द आई ऑफ द चीता एंड इट एक्सटेंड्स अप टू इट्स माउथ सो यू कैन सी दी टीयर मार्क हियर वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दीज टीयर मार्क्स टू बी प्रेजेंट ओवर दी फेस ऑफ चीता दे हेल्प द चीता रिफ्लेक्ट द ग्लेयर ऑफ द सन यू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज आईब्रोज ओवर युअर फेस द पर्पज ऑफ दिस आईब्रोज इज द सेम दैट इज दे हेल्प अस रिफ्लेक्ट द ग्लेयर ऑफ द सन एंड द टीयर मार्क्स ऑफ द चीता आर डूइंग द सेम थिंग फॉर द चीता नाउ देर आर सॉलिड ब्लैक स्पॉट्स विच यू ऑल नो अबाउट दैट आर प्रेजेंट ओवर बोथ द स्किन as well as the fur of cheetah and you have to also know that cheetah is known for a flat shaped tail now the reason for the the shape of the tail being flat is that helps it change its direction easily at higher speeds you have to also remember that the cheetahs don't roar like the lion and the tiger fine they meow or they purr just like your domestic cats domestic cats are nothing but cats you see in your neighborhood fine and it is the only large carnivore that has been declared extinct by india due to overhunting it was overhunted and this is the reason why there is no presence of cheetah in india today where was the cheetah last seen well it was seen in the state of chatisgarh in 1947 and in 1952 it was declared as to be extinct now as i told you that cheetah is being reintroduced back into india and that makes it the world's first large carnivore that is being transferred from one continent to another continent presently we are trying to translocate cheetah from africa into india okay is this clear and who is responsible or taking care of all this that is the translocation process it is the ntca ntca stands for national tiger conservation authority if you want to read further about it do google about it and try to understand its functions and regulations that are put forward by it and before moving further let us also look into the two main species of cheetahs one is the african cheetah and another one is the asiatic cheetah the name itself of both these cheetahs suggests that these two are from two different continents one is from asia and the another one is from africa now the iucn status of your asiatic cheetah is critically endangered but the iucn status of your african cheetah is vulnerable what is the reason the reason is straight forward that the asiatic cheetahs are very less in number that is they are just 40 to 50 in number but when it comes to your african cheetahs they are more in number that is why they are vulnerable fine and the site status of both these animals is appendix 1 do read about sites fine i am not going to discuss it here 
it will be discussed in a separate video but do read about it and also try to understand the different appendixes that are present in the sites now what is the physical characteristic of both these animals that is the both these species of cheetahs the first thing you have to remember is that the african cheetah is much more larger and also much more darker when compared to your african cheetah that is your african cheetah is smaller and also paler now the difference can be seen here itself the african cheetah is darker whereas the asiatic cheetah is paler only iran right now has your asiatic cheetah fine and they are also very less in number the government of india initially thought of reintroducing the asiatic cheetah in india that is it was thinking of reintroducing this cheetah in india but the iranian government did not agree to it because they are very less in number and there might be certain changes in the environment while they are being transferred from iran to india or they might not easily adjust to the indian environment and this might further decrease their population this was the reason that the iranian government did not agree to it so what the government of india is right now doing it is thinking of reintroducing the african cheetah itself cheetah is also a keystone species a keystone species is such a species that the extinction of such a species or removal of such a species from an ecosystem can easily hamper the balance between the ecosystems or the equilibrium that has been maintained by the ecosystem is easily disturbed when keystone species are taken out of that environment is it clear that is they have a high impact over a particular ecosystem and removal of such species from an ecosystem can easily disorient it or shake out its equilibrium now what are the problems because of which there are very less number of cheetahs present in the world first is the human wildlife conflict remember that cheetahs have no intention to hurt a human being when certain changes in the environment takes place or when man tries to enter the environment where the cheetahs live in that is the forest or the grasslands at that moment the cheetahs have no other option other than getting into the villages or the city areas and it is because of this reason that there are increasing cases of human wildlife conflict in the present days the other two reasons being the main reasons are the loss of habitat the loss of prey and also illegal trafficking cheetahs are also killed for medicinal purposes and second for their skin where are the cheetahs being translocated well the government of india has identified kuno palpur national park to be one of the sites where they are thinking of relocating it and what is the reason for relocating it at that particular national park itself the first being suitable habitat and the second being an adequate prey base right what are the different areas or different conservation breeding sites that were recommended by the government of india for relocating the cheetah first is the navradehi wildlife sanctuary second being gandhi sagar wildlife sanctuary third being shagar and fourth the mukundara now look at the region i am talking about first is madhya pradesh second is madhya pradesh third is rajasthan fourth is rajasthan and your kuno palpur is in madhya pradesh try to remember that it is in this region of india where the government of india is trying to relocate cheetah and what kind of cheetah are we trying to relocate we are trying to relocate african cheetah one of the important features of african cheetah is that it is an ancestor to your asiatic cheetah fine the asiatic cheetah has evolved from your african cheetah remember this fact now let us dwell into kuno palpur national park i believe you are easily able to see the map of india now this region constitutes your kuno palpur national park i believe you can see a river that is flowing here it is one of the tributaries of your chambal river and this river is nothing but your kuno river now the kuno national park is in madhya pradesh i am reiterating the same thing that has been established now now this national park 
has also witnessed your asiatic lion reintroduction project in the 1990s the asiatic lion was reintroduced here now tell me where all the asiatic lions are present in india today which is that national park which is very very famous for your asiatic lion please do comment down below i believe i have covered each and every aspect of cheetah reintroduction into india and please do look into the other national parks that is do map these national parks and also try to find out the different types of animals flora fauna and the river that flows through these national parks thank you hey guys this is your friend chita speaking if you find the content to be useful do like the video and do share it with your friends and also do subscribe to the channel it is going to help me a lot see ya